Hey, good afternoon, guys. It's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. And today, taking a little afternoon trip. Did a little work around the house today. Just not much. Not much. Not much work. So don't worry. But uh, anyway, thought I'd run out here. Since we've had daylight savings time, it doesn't get dark till late. So uh, I'm going to try to see if I can catch some trout on this outgoing tide. Uh, the other day when me and Paul caught any fish, it was later on into the outgoing tide the last couple of times we fished. So um, let's see if we can't get into something here. Be nice. And it's, a, it's very nice out here today. It's a little hot. It's in the 80s but low 80s. And I am at Cumberland Island fishing. And just missed my first little trout there. Been getting bites. Just haven't been able to hook up with them. I know one thing, I've got some big old shrimp. <laughs> These are some monsters. But that's okay because big shrimp, big trout like big shrimp, little trout like big shrimp. Everybody likes big shrimp. Yeah, I originally was not going to go today, and uh, I kind of looked at my schedule for the rest of the week things going on so we decided why not why not it is a retirement empire after all what's the point of having a retirement empire if you can't just go fishing in the afternoon bad little trout I still got plenty of fish in the freezer so I'm not gonna be keeping any today but that's a, that's a good looking trout smaller one and it was way down there about seven or eight little tourist boats they have these little bitty tourist boats that little dude <laughs> uh, they just came by and they slowed down you know because so, I was fishing but anyway you know they rent them out so they, they take them back in these creeks so while they were going by this one guy this one lady goes look Bob he's got a bobber that guy's got a bobber <laughs> I guess he was telling her he can't fish with bobbers and she's letting him know he can. I don't know. Of course, this is not just a bobber. It is a float rig. y'all, I know y'all have seen me using it, but the way it works is you put a stopper, a little stopper knot up the line and I can move that line up and I can move that knot up and down the line. What happens is when I throw uh, my rig into the water, the float will float up until it gets to that and it'll stop. And this sinker down here will go down to the bottom. So the float's on the top, the sinker's down in the water. You can see I got a pretty big sinker on there and I want to fix it where the sinker is just barely hitting the ground as it's floating along. It's made to fish in current. And then the shrimp will be behind it just kind of floating along there doing its own thing. So it is a very good rig for current. 
and down here there's a lot of current so instead of fighting the current you just throw this out there and uh, let it float along with the current and the fish see that shrimp skipping along like a normal shrimp does and uh, that's how you catch them so that's why we use the float rig all the time because there's so much current here I wouldn't have used this uh, you know when we lived in Pensacola and, you know there were there were places where there was current but like here it's everywhere so um, that's one of those things I had to learn when I came up here or when we moved down here was I had to learn a way to fish in this current and that's what a lot of these guys do and there's different ways you know different kinds of floats and different ways to tie them but all of them are basically like what I just showed you So, Mike or Bob or whatever your name is, if you're watching this, it's, it's not just a bobber, okay? <laughs> Here comes the little tourist boats. <laughs> just caught this one in front of the... Uh, boat for full of about 50 tourists may not have been a good move but it's a decent fish not bad GoPro stop recording yeah yeah that boat was going by and it was so loud because there's a guy talking on a loudspeaker and I caught the fish and I kept saying GoPro GoPro and it wouldn't start up. So I had to wait till he got by a little bit. But those are two pretty big boats. They're like just a little touring boats. They probably got 30 people in them a piece. Starting to get tourists down here again. Yeah, they clapped for me when I caught the fish. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever had an audience clap for me. Of course, you guys probably clap for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Well, that's a little better. Not bad. Not bad. Glad I got to know you. See you later. Yeah, these shrimp are so big what happens is when they sell you shrimp they sell you like a pint or a quart of shrimp so they take a pipe container and they fill it up with the, with the shrimp so if you have big shrimp they take up more space so you get fewer shrimp you get bigger shrimp but you get fewer number well if i lose a shrimp every cast something eats it and it don't take too long and I'm out of shrimp. And today I'm getting a bite pretty much every time. But a lot of them are smaller fish. So don't know how long I'll be out here. Probably not too long. Here we go. Yeah. Let's pull them a little bit. Not too bad. bad so I'll get a close-up him there's a little snaggle tooth in there there's one tooth most of them have two little sharp teeth he lost a tooth somehow We 
have here? Uh, I believe they call these a sand perch. And I do not like them. They eat all your bait. And they're not good to eat. And you can't use them for bait. So all they're good for is to take your bait. We do not like them. Bait stealer. Bait stealing sheep's head. I need some big trout to move in here before I run out of shrimp, which won't be long. My guy. He's he's my little guy. Uh. Little dude. See you, dude.